Hi guys, for today's video I have a tutorial for you. I'm so excited. I literally feel like I haven't sat down and uploaded me doing my makeup in so long. Just different makeup looks, tutorials, I'll get ready with me, whatever. I literally just feel like I've neglected doing makeup on my channel for like the past couple months. So right now I'm just priming my face and my eyes with the Primer Water, Shadow Insurance, and the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this look just yet. Um, I really know I just wanted to play around with the TARDIS Pro Palette, so that is what I did. It kind of started off as a cut crease but I'm not really sure what it turned into. I just really wanted to play around with makeup and upload it for you guys. By the way, I was drinking a cafe mocha from Starbucks. This is my drink of choice lately. Super good, but it has a lot of espresso in it, so I have not been able to sleep, so I don't recommend drinking that after like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm starting off, like I said, with the Tardis Pro Palette. I'm taking the light brown shade and starting off by tracing a cut crease with a little eyeliner brush. Just try to be as precise as possible, but as always, we're going to go in and clean that up with some concealer. So I will have all the shade names I used linked down below. It's kind of hard to read them from afar like while I'm voiceovering, but yeah, that'll be down below. So for my cut crease, as you guys can see, I like to go above my natural crease because I have super hooded eyes, so my crease kind of folds and you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm just doing that and lightly tracing my crease to start off with. Next, I'm taking that same light brown shade and mixing it with a little bit of a darker, warmer brown and just tracing over that same line. You guys know I really just like to work my way from lightest to darkest just to help everything blend better and just it just looks a little better in the end. So I'm just tracing that line. Again, it's okay to be a little messy. We're going to go in and clean everything up with concealer, but just try to keep that line as precise as possible as you can with a free hand, but it definitely can be super tricky. So then I'm taking my little blending brush and just trying to blend the top of that line, not trying to do much blending onto the lid. So my blending brush was clean in that clip that you saw right there, but now I'm going to be actually dipping into the original transition shade that I traced out my little crease with. And I'm actually taking that to make even more of a blended kind of transition look. And I'm going on top of that line to blend everything out and make more of a soft gradient effect if that makes sense. Now I'm actually going to go in and cut the crease. So I'm using a Maybelline Adriwan concealer, something super thin and easy to work with, putting it on the back of my hand. And then I'm taking a flat concealer brush and starting on my lid, really just filling in the space. And then as you can see right there, taking some on the very tip of the brush and really cutting out that line underneath the crease. So there's a distinct kind of harshness between the lid and the crease, therefore creating that cut crease kind of effect. I'm going to be going in and setting the concealer that I put on my lid, just like you would set your primer or the concealer underneath your eyes. You don't want anything to get creasy or if you're oily, this just helps it from breaking down. So just choose something light, something close to your skin tone or even like a white if you really want to brighten the area. And you could totally just leave it like this. I think this looks so cool, but I wanted to go in and add some metallic pops of color and you'll see that later in the video. So then I'm just taking that same little detail brush and the warm reddish brown and going in and further defining finding and deepening the line of my cut crease. And for my lid, I decided to stick to a warm vibe for this look, so I'm going into the super pretty metallic gold that is in the Tardis Pro Palette. These metallics are slightly disappointing. They're not as metallic as I would like them to be, not as like creamy and buttery, but they still did the trick. I really like this shade, and I think it played well with the warm tone on my eyes. So again, I'm just being super careful to apply that to my lid, making sure not to get any of the metallicness and shimmer in my crease, and just to deepen up the crease. I just felt like it needed more of a 
contrast between the warm reddish shade and the gold on my lid. I went in the warm red shade as well as a little bit of a deeper dark brown to deepen up the cut crease. To finish up the eyes, I applied these Faux Mink Ardell Lashes in the 812 style. Oh my god, literally the best drugstore lashes I have ever tried. I went ahead and did my foundation and concealer off camera, and now I'm moving on to some cream contouring. I got the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Medium for Christmas, and I'm finally trying it out, and oh my god, I really love this, you guys. It gave like such a natural contoured and bronze look while still adding a really nice definition and structure to my face. So I use the lightest bronze shade and a little bit of the middle bronze shade kind of mixed together and I really like the color and like just effect it gave me. To top that off I wanted a really super warm bronzer to match the eyes so I went in with one of my favorites an oldie but a goodie the NYC Sunny Bronzer. And of course going in and setting the rest of my face with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to be doing a little bit of powder contouring. I know I already cream contoured, but I wanted something just a little bit more cool tone to create that structured, more like cool tone, natural shadow on my face. So I took the Anastasia Beverly Hills Original Contour Kit and the lightest, most cool tone shade and just fluffed that into my cheekbones just to make them appear a little bit more hollow. And moving on to my favorite part, getting that glow, I'm using the Prosecco Pop and Amaretto Champagne Split from Becca and Jaclyn Hill, and I'm taking Prosecco Pop and just bathing in it on my cheekbones. The gold just plays so well with the gold on my lids and the warm tones on my eyes. I was just obsessed about how this like really reflected on camera and in person. It was just so beautiful. I'm really sorry you guys about my voice in these like upcoming clips of the voiceover. I literally am only filming this like four or five hours later than like my previous clip that I just filmed of me like talking about the highlighter and I just got like so sick and congested and my throat kind of hurts out of nowhere but I still really wanted to get this video uploaded and like finished for you guys so right now I'm just going ahead and filling in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade medium brown. If you guys want an updated eyebrow routine that is definitely something I would be able to do for you so definitely let me know to highlight my brow bone i'm just going in with a cream shade and a white shade from the palette again i will have all of these shadow names listed down below and then i'm using all of these same browns that i used in my crease underneath to smoke out my lower lash line The lower lash mascara that I've really been loving is my CoverGirl Super Sizer. It's super old though, I need to get a new one. I've had this one like literally since like the summer, but it just makes my eyelashes so nice and long. The wand is just the perfect size and I've been really loving the formula for my bottom lashes. For my inner corner, I didn't really like any of the shades in the TARDIS Pro palette to highlight my inner corner, so I went ahead and just took Nylon by MAC. You guys know I really don't ever reach for a different inner corner highlight. I just feel like absolutely nothing compares to this shade. It is absolutely stunning. And to finish off the look, I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush. I just wanted something super natural to keep all the focus on the eyes. And that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you are notified when I post and you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed or just leave me any requests if you guys want to see more makeup looks like this. Get ready with me or whatever. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.